SPG hat. Oh shit, we got Tyler up in this. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up? What's going man? on, man? How you doing? Uh, been busy, man. Just been busy. Just all this stuff been going on with my channel has been so crazy. Like, uh, what happened was, like, basically, I guess maybe social justice warriors just uh, went to my channel and just saw my videos and they didn't, didn't like it. And so they just fight the videos down. I got my channels down because of that. Dude, like all your your whole like library, your backlog, or just was there a specific um, yeah, video? Yeah, basically, uh, as soon as they flag my videos, all my videos was gone. But basically, I actually saved my videos, so I have all my videos on my hard drive right now. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, at least you have that. Like I, um, when I saw, when I saw stuff like that ha starting starting to happen to people, I started to I was like, okay, I need to store my stuff in other places. Just in case, because of the type of content, um, you know that that I put out and the, and the, and pe other people like that put out too, and um, I, I do think about that every once in a while. Like, dude, like, what if somebody does something? <laughs> like, 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 what if somebody? Like, what if I wake up one day, and my fucking channel's not there? Like, I would just like, how am I? Because I yeah. You know, as soon as I saw that happen to my original channel, I just freaked out. Like, what the hell is this? Like, how could somebody just flag down my entire channel because of that stuff? <laughs> Yeah, that's fucking. Yeah, I was just so and, pissed off. Like, like YouTube did not even give me some sort of like notification at all when that happened to me. That's what's fucking frightening to me. That you, you, you they don't even like tell you like, oh yeah, sorry or some shit or this is exactly what happened or you can't even like, can you like not challenge it or something? Like, can't we? Shouldn't there be like a window where you can be like, this needs some. That's fucking seems pretty important to be. I don't understand how you can just take down a channel that easily. <laughs> Especially this thing is crossed into like this is my livelihood now, so it sucks that you're that's like in the fucking back of my head, you know, that oh my channel could just be fucking gone one day, just like for I know for, for a some, fact that there are some channels that actually have the partnership, right? Where they actually protect the uh, YouTubers from actually getting their channels flagged down. So I'm not sure if it actually could, you know, be protected without the partnership. I see. Um there's actually something that the, this guy he's been really persistent. He like he says he He's like, um, it's a partner manager, and he was like, oh, get into our partner manager program. He's all, please. He kept, he kept following up with me. I'm like, dude, well, what is it about? And he wanted to do a conference call. And I was like, I don't fucking want to do that. Just, just send me an email. <laughs> and um, like, I don't want to fucking just have to talk me and try to sweet talk me and shit. I know that's all he's gonna do, but um, I, I, I was interested in being like, is there the only benefit I want to know is like, say, if somebody tries to fuck with my channel, will they like? maybe look into it before things just completely get terminated or something. Like if they see like some type of mass flagging going on, will they look into it and verify before it's like, okay, this is legit or not. I mean, that's, that's fucking all I would want just so like, say when it happened to bearing where, Oh you know, yeah. <laughs> like stuff like that, where he got it reversed because you know, everything's cool, but it's just like, what happened to who? it's kind of scary like, to, I think for the What's case that? for Darling, like he was actually fly because of some sort of avatar, I believe. Yeah, so, he was, yeah. and he he actually was rightfully he was rightfully flagged because you know he took the cartoon bear from a uh, from some other from. It was like total drama on an island. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And um, but he he reached out to them. They were cool, and everything was settled. So that was good. And you know, I actually think about that um. Because my intro, I mean, even though I'm only using, I use it in, as like as, as in a fair use, my intro, I'm using a, a band. But I was actually thinking of uh, making something original because just in case maybe somebody wanted to f fuck with me, they could easily um, try to, I actually try to reach out to the band to see like, hey, is it cool that I use, I, I sent them a couple of uh, messages and they, they never got back to me. But um mm. I just want to, I was like, oh, what if there's a possibility? And like, I should, probably shouldn't even be saying this to be like, you know, putting it out there. But, you know, everybody here is like, you know, 36 people watching or some shit. So I'm sure everybody's going to write down. Yeah, cool. yeah, the thing cool. is, like, for my introduction, like, I actually had a friend do it for me. So I don't have to worry about the copyright issues for my intro. I see. Yeah, that's exactly what uh, move, moving forward. Smart. Yeah, moving forward, I would say within a month or so. I'm going to, you know, even though people are going to be uh, disappointed because they really like um, the the music that I use for the intro. Um, but I'm I mean, just what gonna, is it though? Can't you like chop it up or do like a remix? Well, it is chopped up. It's only ten seconds. It's like it's actually nine seconds. 
And you know the do you know the song the Lost in the Static and it sounds all Egyptian as fuck, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Brock? I do, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Um, so it's just that little bit, and you know, technically it's considered fair use, sure, but <laughs> there's also it also could get complicated because my videos are monetized, even though I'm not making money from the intro, but it is a part of my video. So somebody could argue that case and be like, "Oh, you're profiting off of us," even though I'd be like, "No, I would still make the same amount of money if that fucking intro wasn't in there," you know. Like, but that's the whole legal thing that would be a whole legal battle you know if somebody wanted to actually pursue that but um so it's one of those yeah, things where it's like yeah, I should, can't you isn't there a certain allotted amount of seconds too you have to you know, it's fine like say youtube even has youtube even has a thing like that sort of copyright claims where people can claim um uh, like say i don't know how they do it uh, i don't know how it works like say if you use too long of somebody's video it'll pick it up and be like oh y your video got Cop claimed and now the, it's going over to uh um, yeah like basically the ad monetize the video if you have any amount of copyright material in it yeah and i don't know exactly how it works but i just know at a certain amount of time like if you use like 10 seconds or less um usually they can't detect anything and um i know some people can go out of their way and do some stuff manually though because like say for example um i remember pewdiepie since he's uh, since everybody's watching him uh, he used uh, something like a very small clip of something and um, it was transformative. It didn't even sound the same. It was a part of uh, that guy KSI, that British black guy used a part of his like music video. It was like 100% transformative. And so somebody like the company that owned that song went out of their way to put a copyright claim on it. And for a little while, PewDiePie and KSI were beefing, but they kind of squashed it and stuff because it wasn't KSI. He didn't do it. But um, it's just so so it's fucking bullshit that somebody can go out of their way and just be like, oh, this is mine, and then just take your fucking ad revenue, like um, that fucking guy Fousey Tube did that to that guy Colossus is crazy, um, Colossal is crazy. There you go, um, where Colossal made this like forty minute video just exposing like how how much of a scumbag Fousey Tube is, and Fousey Tube claimed it, and basically even though it is fair use, what he did was. He waited until the last day because you have 30 fucking days to dispute it. So there's 30 days to where you, all of that money that it can be generating could be you don't know if it's going to go to you or if it's going to go to him. And basically at that last part, he just fucking struck the channel. Like he, he um, instead of like being like, oh, I'll just take the money. He's like, no, he just gave Colossal as crazy a fucking strike. Like, you know, you, you, you rip my shit and now I'm going to punish you for it. Just completely fucking them. And that's why YouTube's fucking dangerous, man. Yeah, yeah it's not just have, because of that, but also because like people could just look at your videos and then write fake articles about it. Like with the case for PewDiePie, like I cannot believe how many articles there were written about him being a Nazi and stuff. Dude, that... <laughs> Dude, I can't, he's, I can't he should sue, dude. Seriously, for defamation. I, absolutely. I think PewDiePie should fucking sue one hundred percent. Um, obviously, he's uh, still gonna be fine with his with his ad revenue. He's still monetized through YouTube, but just the the extra ad revenue he lost probably quite a bit. And I would sue for all that shit and then some, because that was obviously the hit piece, extremely uh, slanderous and everything. And then I can't believe, I cannot fucking believe that how big that got. Like, I can't believe, like, full screen and, like, Disney and p people like that wouldn't, wouldn't just see the article and be like, this is fucking dumb, and then just kind of just <laughs> dismiss it. Like, it's it's so stupid that it got that big, you know? Like, I couldn't ridiculous. believe it. Like, it's obviously some sort of joke poking fun at, you know, the Jews. So, obviously, it does not make any sense to make a big deal out of this. <laughs> right? But well, it's, like, it's That's super cool. ironic because the video was about how the media takes it out of context. And they fucking take it out of context. <laughs> that that's pretty. That was pretty nice. That's that, like, the thing that's about like, I fucking love that. He was trying to use that service to prove like how ridiculous it is. So that's why it had that. You know, no, that says stuff to all Jews. So yeah, <laughs> that's like that's what I love, man. Just that that irony. Like it's so sweet. You know, the satire's dead when shit like this happens. <laughs> Right, and 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 what what was up with these? Did you see like J.K. Rowling? Like, she oh was, yeah, I saw that. Like, she basically <laughs> said like uh, PewDiePie was a fascist or something. <laughs> she yeah, down. She, she doubled down, tripled down. She yeah. Exactly, she would not back down. 
And it's like, dude. And then people surfaced like, um, and I don't know if the, the quote was true, but it served a picture of her wearing a fucking Nazi outfit. Um, <laughs> I'm not even sure that's true yeah. either. <laughs> no, no so that, I, that's yeah. true. That's actually, but the one thing that I didn't say, I don't know if it's true because there was a quote I saw attached to it saying that um, she said that wearing like, uh uniforms like that are arousing i was like what <laughs> no it doesn't the point i'm pretty sure that's fake but the point was is Probably. that just because you see it on the internet you like these people automatically took it as true off of like a one thing that was the whole point of making that page was like well i saw it on the internet so it's got to be true you're and not the thing is like you would think that jk rowling of all people would actually you know figure out like how it's like to be like you pewdiepie right? like you, you know, like basically in the past she used to be called like some sort of person that write like witchcraft or harry potter and yeah. so it was kind of sad that she actually repeated history with that kind of shit 